Hello guys, look at what I find on the side of the street. Some dirty microwave oven and I already take off. And as you can see, it has all the, still the guts in it, the magnetron, the transformer, the capacitor. That's nice. I'm going to take this one out and throw it into the scrap, the metal. Uh, instead of on the side of the road, that's not good. Uh, yeah. I will pull those out and I see you again later. Yeah, we are here at a different workshop. Uh, yeah, I will be back soon. Hey guys, I'm back and as you can see I get all the goodies out and basically just cut the wires but usually I don't like cutting wires but this thing is scrap anyway and will never go back together so it doesn't really matter though and here is the good parts the magnetron the transformer capacitor that little board with the relays may be useful for something the mains filter may be useful for something and most likely this caused the failure that bolt blew up or shorted out i guess as you can see and as people told me those like to blow that fuse so Later we'll check that fuse. Well, it's dirty anyway, so I will not use it. But again, I mean the microwave, but those parts are pretty nice. So we'll see if those all are okay. I guess they are. Could also be that high voltage fuse sometimes blows, but we'll see. Yeah, that's all I'm going to later. I'll check that fuse and we'll maybe try the transformer, some arcs, huh? And yeah. See you later again. Well, here it is now with the rest of them and some other scrap that I have to get rid of. And yeah, not the shovel though, I don't need that one, but the rest is just trash. Yeah. Hello, guys, we are back or I'm back and I actually tested the components and they seem to be all good like the primary is good the secondary is good too of course ah I'm sorry this is hard with one hand but yeah it's not open so that's good the secondary fuse sorry the yeah the high voltage fuse I tested it's it's good the magnetron filament is good. I want to show you what. Maybe if I can. It's good. Magnetron is not shorted. The fuse, the little fuse that I was saying that is blown, is not blown. So the limit switches, like the thermal. Limit switches are also not damaged. I'm sorry. This one is good, and this one is also good. This one is good. The capacitor, well, it's not shorted. Oh, sorry, that was not the case, but yeah, you get it. It's not shorted. And Plus capacity, if I can, come on, spin on me, one micro pretty much as it's supposed to be, yeah, 0 0.92 micros is basically close enough, now it could be the control circuitry, could still be the magnetron, it could be in, but I don't know, Air could go in and stop working, but for all of it's probably working, probably. So it's most likely either the controls, this, or actually the power supply for the controls, or the actual control board, but whatever, we don't need that anyway. So the main components that we interest the capacitor, transformer, perfect, fine. Magnetron, probably fine. So we can definitely 
make something out of it. And since I have another mod, I don't know, we could make a mod stack, right? I think that's the project for today. And later I'm going to make a video after I constructed these so we can make arcs. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, that's all the two. This one from before, and now he has a little friend, well, a little bit smaller. They are about the same height, this is some standoffs. This one is from 800. Ah, sorry, from 800. Ah, oh, I'm really horrible today, very sorry. This one is from 800 watt, this one is from 700 watt microwave, so that's why this one is slightly smaller. I mean, it's nearly identical if you put in like. You see, it's nearly the same thing. So, yeah, slightly different terminals, but yeah, about the same thing. Definitely going to be usable for a mod stack. We have the, I removed all of the, var the garbage wires that was cut off before, so yeah. Yeah, the diode is also not shorted, so yeah, I guess it was control issue or maybe a power supply. I will see if this one works. This one will be quite nice. It has like 12 and 5 volts, so I have no idea of the ratings, of course, but it could be useful for something if it still works. Even like these, maybe, because it has those relays and they're like 16 amp. If it would focus. And that filter board is definitely also useful for something. It doesn't have the real inrush limiter. That's actually better because like this it's more useful for other devices. Yeah, you need like a EMI type filter. And of course the capacitor that will be useful. Hey guys, it's a bit later today and as you can see I made a little base for the transformers from some Bakelite rods. Um, I connected transformers in series so I can run them for 400 volt. Um, so they're like primaries in series, the power comes in like here then goes through transformer to the next, to the next transformer and back. And the secondaries are also in series, which is earth here. And it's also earth, just in case. Um, yeah. So now this is the high voltage output, basically. The cores are at earth potential. Uh, I already measured the output voltage, so it's, it's connected right, like the phasing of the transformers is right. And after I clean all this mess, we could make some arcs with some resonant capacitors, four of them, I guess. Yeah, see you soon again, and we will continue. Okay, hello, welcome back, and as you can see, I now wired the capacitors. Uh, transformers are all wired, arcs stick everything. It is connected to the large 500 volt step up transformer and my very power supply I will set up the camera and then I'm going to make some arcs basically at this point As you could see the arcs are much bigger than with a single transformer so this setup is much better. Very luckily I find that microwave on the side of the road for free. Very nice. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!